Welcome to our channel. Today's video answers most questions pregnant women and their spouses ask before conception, during pregnancy, labor, delivery, and breastfeeding periods. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, leave your comments. We will surely get back to you. Frequently asked questions before pregnancy. 1. How can we prepare our bodies for pregnancy? Focus on a balanced diet, regular exercise, managing stress, and taking prenatal vitamins, especially folic acid, to support a healthy pregnancy. 2. How long should we try to conceive before seeking help? Most couples conceive within a year. If you're under 35, try for 12 months. If 35 or older, seek help after 6 months. 3. What are the risks of advanced maternal age? Risks include higher chances of genetic abnormalities, miscarriage, and complications like gestational diabetes and preeclampsia. 4. How does birth control affect future fertility? Fertility typically returns quickly after stopping birth control, but it may take a few months for regular ovulation to resume. 5. How can we increase our chances of conception? Track ovulation, maintain a healthy lifestyle, and have regular, unprotected intercourse during the fertile window. 6. Should we get genetic testing before trying to conceive? Genetic testing can be helpful if there's a family history of genetic disorders or if you're at higher risk for certain conditions. 7. What lifestyle changes should we make before trying to conceive? Quit smoking, limit alcohol and caffeine intake, manage stress, and ensure both partners maintain a healthy weight. 8. What is the best age to get pregnant? Fertility is highest in your 20s, but many women have healthy pregnancies in their 30s and early 40s with proper care. 9. How do chronic health conditions affect pregnancy? Conditions like diabetes, hypertension, and thyroid disorders should be well managed before conception to reduce risks. 10. Should we consult a doctor before trying to conceive? Yes, a preconception checkup can help identify and manage any health issues that could affect pregnancy. 11. Is sexual intercourse safe in pregnancies? Sexual intercourse is generally safe except in complicated pregnancies such as those with low-lying placenta, bleeding, membrane rupture, and preterm labor. The doctors will guide you if there are concerns. Frequently asked questions during pregnancy. 12. What symptoms should I expect in early pregnancy? Common symptoms include nausea, fatigue, breast tenderness, and increased urination. Not everyone experiences all symptoms. 13. How much weight should I gain during pregnancy? It depends on your pre-pregnancy BMI, but typically 25 to 35 pounds for women with a normal BMI. 14. What food should I avoid during pregnancy? Avoid raw fish, unpasteurized dairy, deli meats, and high mercury fish. Limit caffeine and avoid alcohol and tobacco. 15. Can I continue exercising while pregnant? Yes, moderate exercise like walking, swimming or prenatal yoga is generally safe and beneficial. Consult your doctor for guidance. 16. How can I manage morning sickness? Eat small, frequent meals, stay hydrated, and avoid triggers like strong smells. Ginger and vitamin B6 can help. 17. Is it safe to travel during pregnancy? Travel is generally safe until the third trimester, but check with your healthcare provider, especially if flying. 18. What prenatal vitamin should I take? A prenatal vitamin with folic acid, iron, calcium, and DHA is recommended to support your baby's development. 19. How can we prepare for the baby's arrival? Attend prenatal classes, prepare a birth plan, arrange for childcare, and set up the baby's nursery. 20. What should I do if I experience bleeding during pregnancy? Contact your healthcare provider immediately. While some spotting can be normal, heavy bleeding may indicate a problem. 21. How do I know when I'm in labor? Signs include regular contractions, water breaking, and a bloody show. If you're unsure, contact your healthcare provider. Frequently asked questions during labor and delivery. 22. What should we pack in the hospital bag? 
include items like comfortable clothes, toiletries, baby clothes, a car seat, and any essential documents. 23. What pain relief options are available during labor? Options include natural methods, epidurals, spinal blocks, and medication. Discuss your preferences with your doctor. 24. How long does labor typically last? For first-time moms, labor can last 12 to 24 hours. It's usually shorter for subsequent pregnancies. 25. What is a cesarean section operation? And when is it necessary? A C-section is a surgical delivery. It may be necessary for complications like breech position, fetal distress, or failure to progress. 26. How can my partner support me during labor? Partners can provide comfort, help with breathing techniques, offer encouragement, and be your advocate in communicating with the medical team. 27. What happens immediately after the baby is born? The baby will be assessed, and you may have skin-to-skin -skin contact. The umbilical cord is cut, and the placenta is delivered. 28. How soon can I breastfeed after delivery? You can start breastfeeding within the first hour after birth. Early breastfeeding helps with bonding and milk production. 29. What are the signs of postpartum depression? Signs include severe mood swings, intense sadness, withdrawal from loved ones, and difficulty bonding with a baby. Seek help if you notice these symptoms. 30. How long is the hospital stay after delivery? For vaginal births, the stay is typically 24 to 48 hours. For cesarean section operation, it's about 3 to 4 days, depending on recovery. 31. What are the postpartum recovery essentials? Essentials include rest, healthy food, hydration, perineal care, and support for breastfeeding and emotional well-being. Frequently asked questions during breastfeeding. 32. How do I know if my baby is getting enough milk? Signs include frequent wet diapers, consistent weight gain, and the baby seeming content after feedings. 33. What are the benefits of breastfeeding? Breastfeeding provides optimal nutrition, boosts immunity, promotes bonding, and may reduce the risk of certain diseases. 34. Can I continue breastfeeding if I return to work? Yes, you can pump milk to store and feed your baby later. Employers are required to provide breaks for pumping. 35. What should I eat while breastfeeding? Eat a balanced diet with extra calories from healthy foods, stay hydrated, and limit caffeine and alcohol. 36. How can I prevent and treat sore nipples? Ensure proper latch, use lanolin cream, and allow nipples to air dry. If soreness persists, consult a lactation consultant. 37. What should I do if my baby refuses to breastfeed? Stay calm, try different positions, and consider offering expressed milk. Seek advice from a lactation consultant if needed. 38. How do I increase my milk supply? Breastfeed frequently, stay hydrated, and eat a well-balanced diet. 39. When should I start introducing solid foods? Around six months, when your baby shows signs of readiness such as sitting up and showing interest in food. 40. How long should I breastfeed? The WHO recommends exclusive breastfeeding for six months and continuing breastfeeding alongside solid foods for at least two years. 41. What are the signs of a breastfeeding problem? Signs include persistent pain, cracked or bleeding nipples, low milk supply, or a baby that isn't gaining weight. Seek help if you notice these issues. These questions and answers cover a wide range of concerns that are typical for expecting and new parents, helping them to navigate the journey from preconception through to breastfeeding. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. You can leave comments for more answers if you need further explanation or if your concerns were not mentioned. Thank you.